As the song says, it's time to throw matches, see what we can ignite. And here we go. No shows our first casualty in 714. Dumped down on the home strike. Massive start. It's Gibbo who thunders in your legs. Meanwhile, 981 head to head with a 508 leading. And Panda homes in with a big end of the Dutch running turn. 527, Mickey Norman leads, but he has to go in on the reverse in Panda. Pile up on the turn, sees Combo blow up 210. And in they go, Shady Man blows up Combo. It's absolutely wild. Shin and Little Legs beat on the nose. And Gibbo ain't done as he trashes Foxy on the home straight. 577, Alfie Lee, he's your early leader. 147 going into the heat on a Gaza. Down here on the turn, and Swallow 232 attacks 132 and goes into the heat. Surely now things will settle down a little bit after an absolutely mental opening two laps. Three places up for grabs in tonight's championship race. And uh, they start with a bang. And they go absolutely mental, and Panda finds the P5 of Swallow for a shot. On the big stone, 5-7 south, and the captain leads us on the back straight. Dean Harper goes in on flats after flats, spun around 981. Patrick Kirstman. 577, the captain leads. The carrying 898 in second, but that is subject to confirmation. Was triple two in third. As Francois de Bois goes around on the turn of the 147 guy, and he could be a seed duck here. In the mark two, and he's gonna get it from Steve O. Roof bending here to the mark two Granada. We continue. 2-2-1 two, two, will wind out triple two and Matty takes one in the rear wheel from Jim. Halfway this time, the Bears living up to their reputation, getting stuck in, in this one. And it's 5-7-7, the captain leads us on the back straight. Jim continues to entertain, he turns, shaky into the fence, the Kent champion. On we go in this last chance qualifier for the unlimited bang as the captain on the back of A-Sash. Making his Milner debut tonight as is many others. Steve-O gets dumped to the infield in the P5 coupe. And we continue racing in this, the opening here of the night for the unlimited bang as one of the explosive starters, Joe Knight, he gets wound up on the top turn. And we're now carrying 898, Andy Battle as the leader, but that is subject to confirmation, Thomas. 898 being carried as your leader. 577, the captain, he's second. Oh, as 898, Andy Battle buries flats very hard into Andy Ashman at the end of the home straight. I'll tell you what, there ain't going to be many more than three go the distance here. They're all going to qualify. Top three to go through. Meanwhile, on the back straight, the former Masters champion, Mullet, buries Chimp after Chimp attacked Johnny G. 2-2-1 Motormouth being carried in third. Justin Riley looking to get another one of the Bears into the night's main event. But it's 8-9-8, Andy Battle leading the way. And again, this is all provisional at the moment. 5-7-7, we can confirm. The captain is certainly on that lead lap. And we've got 2-2-1 being carried in third. 384 being shown in fourth. The rest racing their way out of there. Ain't much left here. And all of a sudden, Alfie Lee is struggling now in the 5-7-7 car. He race on into the closing stages and it looks like it's going to be a quiet final five laps but uh, is it any wonder after an explosive start action all the way around the race around the first two thirds of the race and now these guys are looking just to get themselves or try and get a place in that main event later tonight 898 being carried as your leader again subject to confirmation is up on the road turn motormouth has a go at 384 goldie we continue in tonight's Last chance qualifier for the unlimited bangers. 898 Andy Battle has begun at the final lap of racing top turn. Motormouth runs in Johnny G. And Johnny Golden hangs on and now gets turf to side as Andy Battle will take the flag. It's going to be Alfie Lee in second. Provisionally 2 2 1. He's going to cross the line in third. Again, this is very much subject to confirmation. We will be checking the top three. We've got them all now, Thomas. Red flags, please, round the raceway to end our opening race of the night. And again, we're going to get on. We've got to get this result confirmed. It is important. We'll bring you confirmation.
25 laps and already the action begins as Clocky puts travelling money into the wall and we're off and running. It's Clocky and Osborne battling for the early lead. They get underway, a huge field of the finest and the Supreme Championship race gets underway. Early casualties up on the road turn as uh, Old John makes his attention. clearly runs in 39. 151 big down as a spin. He's been taking over 130 at 73 and it's Craig Osborne at least in 313. 3 is going to come through in second. There's Daniel De Hoop on the front row, 116. The 247 in the rear wheel, BB Man in the uh, early mayhem. 239 Nemesis looks like he could be lurking. On the back straight, 549 Smith and 221 have both gone around. More spinners on the uh, home straight, the ball, and 17 has gone around. And Nemesis is good to his word. Oh, and he has stopped. Victor. Shorty in battle, piling behind. Well, Nemesis said he was going to cause mayhem, and he means it. Craig Osborne leads. Dan Lathan is second. 22, number two. 107, 287, 247. On lap number three of 25. Nemesis might have wiped himself out that first attack. 313, Craig Osborne picking his way through. 22, Dave Vincent is up the second. Number two is now third, Georgie Lee. Carnage all the way around the raceway. As Alfie Lee turns around the nail, 266. 59 gets caught in the mess. And the leader gets held up. Meanwhile, triple two, Connie Riddell with a lunge on 239. Nemesis to turn around the world champion. And Hot Socks pulls in head on to Steve Carter. Takes one in turn from Sparrowboy. They come through again. Looking for our leaders. A street to eight, Dan Latham spins. 88 on the fence. And it could well be Dan Latham who's taken. Sorry, still 3 1 3. Still the leader. Muscle Georgie leading the lead. Drama here was 173. Runs in a 116. And Nemesis stops. Rival Pro got Georgie Lee being shown as the leader. 3 1 3 in second. Oh, driving ever 32 Chubby who collects the 116 car but just barely makes it through. Randy Mould up, stricken on the straight. Hot Socks also joining the party. And Nemesis is not done and he said he wouldn't be. Oh, he has stopped. Craig Osborne, but Osborne is still leading the way. Hot Socks. He's after Nemesis. Gives him a head-on shot. 245, Zach Mulder collects the 88 car for Andy Mulder. Great to see Zach Murdoch getting some laps in. 328 now, Dan Latham piles. 318 into 239, the leader has gone! Big push! 382, 
very spare by we have got a pilot. Georgie Lee has taken the lead. Number two, Georgie Lee leads, and for the first time in this race, he's clear. Craig Osborne is second. Dave Vinson is third. And the rest are a long, long way down. It's Romeo in fourth. Oh, and Vincent's gone. Vincent getting stuck in the Dean Quincy. It's wiped him out. Dan Lathan moving his way up the order, and this is incredible stuff. 22. Dave Vincent has taken it up. 5 on 6. Gordy head to head with Nemesis. And there ain't a lot left here. We're not even halfway. We're only on lap 10, for Christ's sake. Well, Nemesis is still wrecking. He might do it the hard way. 3 2 8. Dan Lathan leads. 3 2 8 has taken it up. More action. Will Speak buries Mush in the 5 1 6. Takes one in turn from Dean Quincy. And Dean Quincy is second. 287. He's being shown in second. Got Andy Battle being shown in third as now Motormouth head to head with Nemesis. Nemesis in Motormouth on the nose. And Phil Smith stops Mushy! The Gladiator Mush War continues. Lathan goes in on 2 2 1 and then Colin Waddell nails the bow. 382. Looks like he has moved up the order. So, 328. 328, Dan Latham leads. 382 is second now, Thomas, the defending champion. 22, Vincent is third now. And my God, Zach Murdoch is fourth. The Crimmon Points champion is fourth. He's not, he's been nailed. Oh, heartbreak for Murdoch. And that really could have been so incredible. Hot Socks aborts that. The Irish are now wrecking on the turn. 3 to 8 Dan Latham. On lap 16, we have still got nine laps to go. Shubby is about half a lap down. Defending champion. But there's always oh, the captain finds Motormouth for a hit in the rear wheel. The captain still wrecking on the pit bend. Absolute mayhem in this one. Thomas will be a black flag for 173. Should he come round, Thomas? Black flag for 173. He's on the top turn. 3 2 8 Lathan leads. Vincent is third, but a lap down. Only Dan Lathan and Shubby are on the lead lap. Hot socks on, Steve Bolton. Zach Murdoch, amazing, he's still being shown in fourth despite being no. Five to go, Thomas. Five to go. Barely half a dozen cars left. This is just amazing. And this could be entertaining. Oh, and he just squeezes through as the captain nails hot socks. Dan Lathan, that was a heart in mouth moment. Vincent's got caught up in it. Vincent's now in the mess. What a banger race. What a banger championship as Romeo Flatton's led it. 3 to 8 Lathan leads. The captain again on hot socks. Fire for 173. We'll keep an eye on that because we're in the final five. So if we have to stop it, it'll be the end of the race. But I think Hot Socks is going to jump clear and the fire has gone out. 107, Michael Six is now moving up the order. And Colin Riddell is up there as well somewhere. But they're not done wrecking. The captain still looking. And are they looking for the leader? And I've got a feeling they might be. Dan Lathan squeezes by. Who is the captain after? It's Vincent. 
and he has stopped him head on. 3.82 seconds. It's triple to Riddell, now moving up. And we might have to keep him going, Thomas, because remember the rest are a long, long way down. Dan Latham, one lap from the Supreme Championship. Romeo still wrecking. Jack Foster Jr. comes through. Colin Riddell comes through. Has Romeo got one final ploy? No, he's going to miss them all. The new Supreme Champion is Danny Latham in 3.28. Chubby is second. Thomas, you've got to keep him going because we've still got a race for third. And Michael Seeks has retired. Chubby fires in late and he gets him a lap too late. Michael Seeks may well have blown a podium finish and we can call it now. Red flags, please, to end racing. Oh, what a championship race. I can't believe it went flag the flag. We will bring you the confirmed results in just a moment's time. Ladies and gentlemen, Colin Riddell, all the way from Scotland, fourth place. Um, Colin, I know last year in the snow, you were, you were up there and you were fighting and you were battling and then the, the car broke down. And I can yeah. tell by the smile on your face, this must mean a lot to oh, you. I really did. It was fantastic. Just to finish a race here is amazing. I think we worked out, we think you were seven laps down on the uh, leaders. At least, at least. <laughs> but, but you finished. And, and on a race like this, sometimes finishing is... Half the battle, isn't it? Isn't it? It is, yes, yes. Nemesis there made it interesting, didn't he? He, he did, although he was good to his word at least. Oh, yeah, he he yeah. said he was going to do it, and at least he did it. So we'll give him a, a smidgen of credit. Did he make it hard work for you? No, he made it great, better for me. Slowed everyone down. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, full marks from the, the Crimmon boys, because Zach Murdoch was third at one place. So that's, that's pretty good going from you guys, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. We, we can't drive. <laughs> good stuff. Right. Zach Murdoch, uh, sorry, Colin Riddell in fourth. Um, I'm trying to remember, Dave Vincent's gone. I don't know where Chubb, Chubby's over there. So we're gonna go straight to the winner. If we can just, if we can drag him away. What a, what a 12 months it's been. And Dan Lathan, you are the new unlimited banger supreme champion. How's that sound? That sounds brilliant. Talk me about a race, 25 laps of absolute carnage, chaos, mayhem. Did you have any idea where you were? Uh, I didn't know fast, no, but um yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and I mean, and you, and you had you had your trouble. You got caught up, and you you got caught in pile ups and scrapes. And I think at one point you went around and got back in it. Did you think you were going to be able to hang on till the end? No, because I think I had a leg hanging off towards the end as well. Something was broke, so I was sort of taking it a bit easy for the last few laps, just to get through. Really. Talk to me about when you had guys like Nemesis coming the wrong way. I mean, he nearly got you at one point, didn't he? How close was that? All I was worried about was my dry shafts. Well, yes, yeah, and a frog eye won it, you know, so there you go. Maybe frog eyes aren't, frog eye shafts aren't too bad. Um, you've, you've, you've done some great things, Milner and RDC points, World Championship last year. Where does this one rank uh, on, on your CV? This tops them all, home track, that's what I want to do. Well, congratulations. The new Supreme Champion is Dan Latham. We'll do the trophy presentations in just a moment. So here we go then, 15 laps of racing, top eight to go through and early doors. C746, 10, London, 312, that puts 243 in offence, then 768, McSweeney, Berry, 690 and a 243. Part of early doors on turn two as Salisbury and Collins meet on the nose. I think we've got a near blockage up on the road turn from the fight through. And Jamie Miller's been slaughtered. 132 bubbles on the shunter. Revenge from Chaz Taylor on bubbles. He wears it from Walter Boy. 
They find their way through. The blockage up on the top turn has claimed several. And it's Rob Wheatley now, the jackal, who blows up James Rushton. More action on the top turn as Kingy has buried someone into the pile-up. And Leeksy finds the jackal for a shot. I believe the track is blocked again on the top end. There is. Was there a way through? Maybe, maybe not. Ben College has just taken a huge hit in number 10. So we fight on. And the action this time up on the road turn. There is a way through. German Junior 741 comes through. 527, Michael Norman leads. Sure he comes from us. 527 leads. Joey Palmer turning it around. And he wants Mullet and he connects with a T-bone down here on the pitch turn. More action on the road turn as Kingy has destroyed 232 with a big shot. 741 German Junior on 32 has bow. Oh, in 96 goes head to head with 32 to wipe him out. 527 Michael Norman into the second half of tonight's consolation. He's got five to go, and he is three laps in front of 318 Tony Citro. Driver on the turn as 925 Priest collects 132 bobbles. Need to come through. Oh, another huge hit on the road turn as a 349 Squaddy has slaughtered someone. 132 on opposite the round 925. 599 Munch are getting involved with uh, Joey Collins. And the leader, got to be careful here as he buries the back mark in German Junior. More action now as number 10 Ben Collins stuffs Tony Citro head on into Marlet. And we've seen some superb action in this. So Michael Norman leads. But is he going to be able to even go the distance? He's got to try and run away through now. On the pitch turn, amazing action. 5-2-7. Four laps in front, didn't sound too healthy. When he came through that time, everyone else has just joined the DD. And thundering head on between Bobbles and Collins. Michael Norman wants to win it though. Tony Citro on Oppo through the rear wheel of Ben Collins. Oh, we got to go. Last car running as Muncher finds Citro for a T-bone shot. Michael Norman wants to win it. James Rushton getting himself running again, as does Bubbles. One to go for 5.27 for James Rushton. And quite possibly Robert James with evil intentions, but they've got evil intentions for each other. And that might well leave the path open for Michael Norman to take the checkered flag. Michael Norman is going to come through to win tonight's consolation race. And we can call it Thomas. Red flags, please, to end racing in tonight's first bang of consolation. Thirty cars, here we go. The second consolation race gets underway. We're off and running with tonight's second banger consolation event. And we look for our early leader and a bit of a racier start this time. And now, actually, on the back straight, 
Curtis, 187, T Bones has done 673 machine. Jay Curtis has been dumped out here in front of us. Pilot forming. 41 going in for a head on the 169. And in they go. Huge hit on the P5 by Panda. Doing what he has done better than most people this year. 316 Langley in the middle of that little heat. Jack Overly dumps out Kane Collins. Much racier affair this one, the second consolation. 399 leads. 549 in second. And Nutty Nige winds out Steve Oak on the home straight. Then Smith has come to grief as well in another of the night's P5 Rovers. 349 squaddy spins James Rush into the infield blocks. And a much, much quieter affair. Our fourth bang of the race of the night, but Shanny Man might be looking to try and liven it up. Another push into the turn. Sees Chiefy on the back of Rob Browning. As Shanny Man gets to the outside of the raceway, looking to do it properly, which is good to see. Meanwhile, on the home straight, the Leo's 521 just drove through 147 with a solid shot. Seven. 887 in second, 187 in third. Be our first warning for 321 for use of the infield, Thomas. And we race on in tonight's second bang of consolation race, halfway. Much quieter affair this one. 399, 17, 721. Is your top three. And the rest coming through. And I think that's the leader who's gone. The leader has been spun around. 721, the new race leader, Dan Clark. As Johnny Mann nails Johnny Atkin. 521, A Sash collects 326 on the nose. 421, Nutty looking to get a place in the final. He's second. And that Nutty Nige challenging for the lead here, four to go next time. 7-2-1 leads, 4-2-1 second as Nate Nice turns around, Squatty might pay for that. And he does, he's gonna get, he takes out his teammate as Phil Smith buries Nate Nige into the lurking Kieran Fry. The Gladiators get revenge after a Nige spun out Noddy. Still up front, 7-2-1, Dan Clark leading the way. And Kieran Fry is going to stop Johnny Golden with a head-on shot. 5-4-9 now, Phil Smith up to second. Nutty Nige has gone around on the pitch turn. As Baloo goes in on Johnny G. 7-2-1, Dan Clark leads, 5-4-9, Phil Smith is second. And third place is a long, long way down. It's 89 Joe Barrett who's in third. James Rushton struggling on the pitch bend. Nate Nige looking to get back into the running as he limps through. Panda has a nibble at Baloo and spins him aside. 2.30, one of our Crimmon drivers, Scott Patterson, getting involved with Chatty Man. And he has a nibble of the leader, but he misses it. Dan Clark wins tonight's second bang of consolation race. The race come through, and we might get our eight qualifiers this time, although quite a few of them are some way down on the leader. Through they'll come, and we call it Thomas. Red flag, please, red flags, please. To end racing in tonight's second bang of consolation race. Coming up next will be the consolation. So another healthy field of cars, 30 unlimited bangers. Big push in the first turn, the front row not too quick off the mark. Several spinners right from the start. And 
Early act. Oh, what a hit! The shape wins the T-Bones. Craig Osborne, and he's decimated. And I mean leathered by BB Man. Daniel the Hook, the Dutchman, leads. Vincent second, row third. More casualties up on the road and early doors as they fight their way through. 6-9-7, Daniel De Hoop leading the way. Ship goes around on the pitch turn from the Bears. Here he leads us, and Daniel De Hoop, the Dutchman, is holding his own against the best in the business with Vincent and Bro on his tail. A couple of couches up on the top turn, and it does seem after that last car running a consolation, and all of a sudden things have just settled down a little bit tonight. And they've got a bit more racy. Daniel De Hoop still leads. Shady Man turning around again, like he's done so many times tonight. Great run, Zach Murdoch back out, making a easy long trip from Grimmett all the more worthwhile. As on the back, straight below. Blows on, I think that's Michael Norman. Vincent now leads. We've lost Daniel De Hoop. Somewhere here he is. Vincent, the leader in the final. Panda now lurking on the home straight, along with Baloo. 247 row in play, Vincent battling it out now for the top spot. 22 coming through as we continue in this banger final. And again, the action has really dropped off after that incredible first consolation race. Things getting a lot more uh, subdued now as one for eight short. He fires on the back of Ben Smith, which he turns chiefly into the wall. Rest racing on. Jim and the winger, and a will speak. Having to go through the rear wheel of Jim. Gets one in turn from Danny Sutton. And he's collected by 245 in Panda. Blows up the Grimmon man. We have a pile up. 697, very 148. Complete blockage. Mulder on the hoop, gets one from Charlie Boy. He's trashed by Andy Battle. Halfway and 22, Vincent has taken it up as Chubby tries to pick a way through. Jack Overy also comes through as the pilot clears after a moment of madness down here on the home straight. 22, Vincent leads as Overy turns around. To going on 41 in Berries of Edward in a Sutton in a huge crash. And then behind that, Chubby smashes Ben Smith into the pile up. 549, Phil Smith on 17. 421 on 204. Shawy on him. Bear Revenge and Vincent has gone in on Motor Mouth. That'll shut up some of the net nerds. Jim head to head with Ben Smith. Andy Battle extracts himself. Vincent under attack again. And the wrecking continues, but we've lost the leader as Chubby through the passenger doors and Jim. Pretty sure that Dave Vincent's not going to be coming out of this as Daniel De Hoop smashes Andy Battle into the pileup. There was us thinking it was going to be a rod fest, and all of a sudden it goes mental. And it's Bro who's taking it up. 247 is now gone. We've lost another leader. And are we going to have another last car running affair? Oh, it's more. It's Chubby turning it on to blow up Andy Battle. 697 back in front. Five to go, Thomas. But oh, I don't think the crashing's done. Chubby. Goes through, sorry, Chatty Man goes through Chubby, that's what I meant to say. 697, Thomas, Daniel De Hoop. But he's been stopped. And it's Joe 90 on Ben Smith and Shorty on Joe 90. Ho hum. Drag is completely blocked again. Well, there was us thinking it was going to be Roddy, but uh, obviously not. Andy Battle wears it again, this time from Chatty Man. And we've got a bit of movement now. 
Where's Shorty gonna go? He goes in again on Joe 90. Trying to force a way through. And again, this is proper bang racing. Proper, proper bang racing. Daniel De Hoop is running. Number 90, Adrian Harbert out of the pile up. Driver's turning it around for another go. Chubby ain't done yet. He wants the bear. He finds Janny Man for a shot. Jag over. He finds Nutty Nige for a hit on the pit bend. And at number 90 flattens Daniel Doe. And uh, number 90 was about to take the lead, but he's gone in on 4 2 1. And Shorty has blown up Ben Smith. And this is just incredible. We're at the six minute mark now for this. 549 is your new leader, Thomas. 549. And he shouldn't. So it would have been five to go that time. I think we're just excited that someone's taken the lead. Daniel De Hoop bails out after a crack in display. Shorty ain't done yet. And he gives it to Ben Smith a second time. As Jack Overy goes in with a big hit on Shaddy Man. Now can Phil Smith find a way through and he can, 5-4-9, one lap closer. And all of a sudden there's a bit of room now on the pitch turn. A bit of room clearing. Jack Overy ain't done yet. And he looks like he's after Shatty Man and he gives it to him again on opposite. 5-4-9, Phil Smith leads. Shorty must be somewhere. He's second, but he's a lap down. Two laps down, sorry. Chatty Man and Jack continue to trade blows. And here comes Chubby on the bear. 5-4-9, Phil Smith leading them through. Ch Shorty, second, but again, laps down on the leader. No one else has done anything, nothing. So the only question is, can the others stop the leaders and make this last car running? Phil Smith's got one to go. Jack Overy's decided to stop right in the middle of the pile. Thank you for that, Jack. And this could be the, well, no, maybe not. Because 549 collects, 318, 148 collects the heat, but he's blown up by Ben Smith. Shorty is certainly moving in there. Phil Smith backs off. And are we again? Perhaps could only have one runner. Shorty looks like he has expired. So is it going to be a case of Chubby versus Phil Smith? And I don't think he's going to get to him. So Phil Smith rounds the final turn. Andy Bale still running somehow. So what way does Phil Smith go? And he comes. Yeah, there he is, the winner of tonight's banger final. We go red and checking immediately. Thomas, your best entertainer is 382 Jack Foster Jr. 382 Jack Foster Jr., the winner of the Entertain Award. And uh, just the winner, Phil Smith, in tonight's banger final. Up next, it's the grand final for the Stock Cars. Another 30 car grid, quite incredible. Let's see what we get this time. An early agency, 746 blow, 147, he gets head on by 349. And it looks like they're going for it again. Dan Lathan under attack from 981, he gets stuffed by 89, the Panda. Pine up forms early doors. On the pitch turn, lost a few up on the top end as well. Oh, and a huge hit. It's Panda again. That's 138. Goes in quickly, 147. 
390, runs in 187. Flatch blows up Zach Street. Huge pile up down here. 399, John Atkins is the leader from the Manhattan's. More action on the pit turn as Chubby, who's been putting them out the night, blows up 89, gets revenge in from Asbo. They fight their way out. As 147, Francis uh, turns around around 981. And Nemesis is out in the game with a crunching head on the tag. They'll fight their way through. And I think Phil Smith's going to cop it here. Team on Mike Sheafy. In goes Atkins. In comes Pete Winner, who's slaughtered by Shubby. And now toughing on 399. As Dan Lathan thunders Goldie into the pile. This is epic. It's just epic. What a night. German Junior nails no show. As uh, Jason Smy on opposite Rams Noddy. The carnage continues. Has anyone got to come out of that? 316 Langley turns around the nail, 239 Nemesis. Dan Latham forces away through, but he's got a cop in here from Peter Carmoy in the 39 car. And Shubby is at it again as he blows up 187. So they're trying to see if we're going to get anyone. Are we going to have another DD? I, I can't believe this. Uh, this is like one of them Southern Opens we had all them years ago. We, like every race went last car running. 32 Asbo just piles in on Andy Marshall. And Noddy nails the aftermath man. And who's going to be the next man to arrive on the scene? It's German Junior with a big hit to Jason Smite. Oh, what a head-on from Danny McSweeney on Asbo. That was mental. Chubby again on German Junior. Well, it looks like we're going to have a DD now. And then we're going to have another one later. We've already had two, I think. I've lost count. Anyway, what have we... We ain't got much now. Johnny G making his way down the back straight. Obviously with the track blocked. I mean, this has basically become a DD now, so it's pretty much DD rules applying. So uh, Johnny Golden trying to uh, make a final impression. Is anyone left moving here? Uh, I'm not too sure we got much left here. If we don't, we will have to declare it. So 382 Chubby lurking on the back straight. We'll give these guys just a moment to see if we get any more for any more on this. Uh, and otherwise, we'll just declare the result. Come up with something, I suppose. Chubby's been on one. Is he going to continue here? Here he comes, 382. Who's he after? And he gets caught up in the heat. And Jack Tuffy comes in for a shot on the rear wheel of David Gibson. Here's Johnny Golden. Going to try and come in for the finish. So do we have anything left here as they continue on the turn or is there no way through? And there doesn't appear to be. We'll call it Thomas, we'll go red in checkered. We'll declare it at that stage with um, not too much left.
so no one would be relaxed as uh, none of that lax around the place. So instead we're going to add two of the tables for that one. Uh, we're going to be one to three eight two Jack Frost Jr. and the second round is going to go to seven six eight and from Sweden. So we have two entertainment awards rather than the race for the best in the ring one. Um, again. For the last time tonight, we're away in racing, unlimited banger. Accumulator qualifier and destruction derby. So only about a dozen, just over a dozen for this one. Let's see what they can bring for us as at 2.32, the water boy's gone around on the back straight. Phil Smith cops it from BB man. Dan Latham goes in on the 945 car, gets dumped out. And uh, some big hits as 599 Muncher finds 945 for a big head on. And Motormouth smashes Dan Latham in similar fashion. And Swayze slaughters Manny Gray with a huge hit. They're not done. Aaron Brees blows up Swayze. Here comes Chatty Man. And he destroys BB Man with a big hit. Dan Latham going in on 925, gets it in turn from Chiefy. And Motormouth blows up Serenine in turn. We might not get eight laps. 116 Clocky on a first warning for use of the infield. Needs to get himself back onto the track again. The accumulator means DD rules apply from the word go. Phil Smith looking for someone. It's BB Man who he destroys with a huge hit. And oh, Greg Osborne. Laddens, Phil Smith gets it in turn from Chiefy. Well, it looks like we've got into a DD almost immediately as Channy Man turns around to blow up Clocky and takes him all the way into the fence. Do we have anything left? That is the question. Dan Latham making his way round and he says to hell with it. And he meets Channy Man in almighty head on down here on the turn. Here comes Motormouth, you've got to think he wants Dan Latham. And he gives the new Supreme Chairman an almighty head on. But Dan Latham is, well, to hell with the laps by the look of it. The Bears have turned on one another already. Dan Latham coming back for more. Big hit to Chatty Man. 9-2-5. Aaron Brace digs himself out of the heat and takes one of those from Dan Latham. And Chatty Man making his way round the turn. Could Aaron Brace be setting himself up here for a bit of a fall? Here comes 3 2 1. Huge hit to Aaron Brace. Dan Latham still runs. Chatty Man making his way round to the top turn now. So, 3 2 8. So then, oh, as Chatty Man died at the end of the straight. Kyle Overy still trying to get that car running, but he's stuck on the dead cars. Dan Latham making his way down the home straight, sizing up Chatty Man. Meets him head on at the end of the home straight. Is that the end of the end? No, Chatty Man still runs. Chatty Man still runs. Kyle Overy was showing some life. Who will Chatty Man want? Will it be the new champion or will it be? Kyle Overy, no, it looks like it's going to be another hard head on between the Bear and Dan Latham. And has that done enough to silence the new Supreme Champion? It looks like it might well have done. He goes in with another head on. And I think that is going to be all she wrote. Red flags, Thomas.